Okay. <laughs> Hello, dear friends. Good uh, morning. <laughs> Such a beautiful, beautiful morning. And uh, here I am sitting outside. And uh, I hope uh, the noise, surrounding noise, do not bring you too much stress. Sometimes with some uh, background noise of uh, the bird and the car and uh, the fire engine and uh, all these sounds, I feel that <laughs> it brings some relaxation. Okay. <laughs> I hope this put you to sleep with a morning uh, sound. So, Echo and uh, Narcissus. Echo and Narcissus. Echo was a forest nymph, beautiful and kind. Artemis, goddess of the moon, loved her dearly. When Artemis came to the forest to hunt, she called on Echo to join her. So Artemis went to hunt and asked Echo to follow Artemis because she is such a, a lovely lady, right? Nymph is a little fairy in the forest. Echo, however, had one fault. She loved to talk. She chatted without stopping. It did not bother her at one bit that nobody listened to anything she said. She's just like... Uh, she's just like... Um, your, your, your little daughter or your, your neighbor, the one of the students in the class, and just kept talking, talking, talking without anybody listening. She was not bothered and kept on talking. I actually have a name in my mind of one of the students. Anyway, you get the idea in every family, in every uh, group or situation you have this kind of a person. Era, the queen of the gods, once came to visit Artemis. Echo kept interrupting the two as they spoke. Artemis warned Echo to be silent. You stop. You do not talk. I am I am talking with my, oh my God, with my almighty Eha. You do not speak. But she paid no attention. This little girl does not pay any attention to anything. She just cannot stop talking. She prattled, she prattled on and on until Eha lost patience. Okay, so here is uh, the apricot gem. Let me put uh, on a better light. You can see it. <gasps> Looks so good. Wow. Look at it. And it is so good because um, it's kind of uh, a little bit uh, caramelized. And uh, if you take longer time to to um, to cook it, there is uh, a much intense and developed flavor. I like it. <laughs> uh, it's different from just uh, if you see the recipe from the package, you can see some of the recipe. You boil water and put uh, the fruit in. No, 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 it's not the same. This one is a little bit caramel, caramelized. Oh, so good, so good. Uh, this is the lemon curd. So, Era not annoyed and lost her patience. And she turned to Arrow, Echo, and said, You love to talk, 
and so you shall. You will never begin a conversation. You will only reply when someone else speaks. Since you love to have the last word, I will give it to you. Never again will you speak words of your own. You may only repeat words that someone else has spoken. Oh, Era was not so kind, right? Yeah. So she has taken away the right that echoes start her own dialogue. She will always follow others. She can only have one thing, that is to follow others. But she has one priority. She has the last say of any words, any sentence, any sound. Okay. Spoken, said Era. Someone else has spoken. Yeah, someone else has spoken, spoken, someone else has spoken. Now the words of others were all that she could say. She could not say anything else, but only the words. Cuckoo, sorry, cuckoo, minu, 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 minu. Maybe you can feel Gugu touching. Minu, 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 Minu. Echo left the nymphs and went to live by herself in a corner of the forest where people so seldom came. So Echo used to have a lot of friends with other nymphs and because of, uh, because of the spell of Era she left all her friends, her nymphs, and went to a corner of the forest. Nobody saw her. Nobody will ever see her. She was just uh, hidden somewhere. Hmm? For a long time, she did not speak at all. So uh, Artemis and Era, they went hunting, and I think this is uh, this is Era, this is Artemis, and this is uh, the beautiful Echo. Okay, one day a young hunter, a young hunter wandered by. Narcissus was his name a young hunter, and this hunter's name was Narcissus. We do not see the full body of it, but uh, of him. Uh, Narcissus was his name. Oh, sorry for the, <laughs> for the reflection. It's just here. Mm. Okay, you will see here better. This way is better. Mm. And he was extremely handsome. Echo watched him from behind the trees. She desperately wanted to speak to him, but she could not say one word until he spoke to her first, because she did not have the right. She had a spell. She could not speak, start a dialogue. Echo followed the handsome young man through the forest for a time Narcissus noticed her. He smiled and called, Hello, who are you? What's your name? What's your name? Your name, your name, your name, your name, said Echo. My name is Narcissus, he answered. I came to the forest to hunt deer. Now it's your turn to tell me 
your name. Tell me your name, 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 Echo says. Echo said, I've already told you it's Narcissus. Didn't you hear me, hear me, hear me, 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 me? Echo answered. Narcissus grew angry. Are you playing a joke? I don't like it when people make fun of me. If you want to talk, answer properly when I speak to you. If not, go away. Go away, 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 away. Sorry for the noise. This is not the echo. This was the sound by the garbage track itself. Not even an echo. Echo did not do those sounds. Okay, echo only make beautiful sounds. Sorry, <laughs> again. Okay, we should be good now. And this is uh, the pure apricot gem. It's like uh, <laughs> amber gold. Mm, so good. Wow, and um, apricot, lemon, and uh, very pure, without uh, without much others. Apricot, lemon, sugar, sea salt, and that's it. A pacti. Oh, look at it! Wow. Okay, we will try to avoid the sunshade here. Okay, uh, <clears throat> go away, 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 Echo said. The poor nymph did not know what to do. How could she explain to Narcissus that uh, she could only repeat the word he said? Echo came from behind the tree. She walked towards Narcissus, holding out. She walked from behind the tree, holding out her arms. She hoped he could understand. She hoped he would understand that she wanted to be his friend. Narcissus did not understand at all. He thought Echo was laughing at him. Mm. Don't tell me to go away. Go away yourself, she pushed Echo hard. She fell down. Echo began to cry. Tears ran down her cheeks, but not a single sound came from her lips. Narcissus cared not one bit. He cared not one bit about her tears. Cry all you want. I don't care. You made fun of me. You got what you deserve. He slung his bow and arrows over his shoulder and walked away. Echo tried to make him come back. She called to Narcissus, but the only words she could say were, got what you deserved. Got what you deserved, you deserved, you deserved, you deserved. Echo, heartbroken, began to fade. You deserve, you deserve, you deserve. Slowly, she disappeared until she was no more a shadow among the forest leaves. Then the shadow disappeared, too. Nothing remained of Echo except her voice. Echo's voice still lingers in the hills and mountains. If you hear a voice repeating your words, you will know that she is there. We call that voice an echo. And what about Narcissus? Atomis was angry with him for his cruelty to echo.
She made a spring appear in the forest where Narcissus would go to hunt. The spring's waters flowed like liquid silver. Its sparkle, its sparkling surface, shone like a mirror. Artemis dipped one of her arrows into the spring. She placed her magic in its water. Whatever the spring reflected would appear to be ten times more beautiful than it really was. So when you see, look at the mirror, you look ten times prettier than yourself. This is not depression. This is, a, well, self-love. So this is why sometimes people take off their clothes and, uh, and uh, celebrate narcissist. Well, kind of makes sense. But you can celebrate. You do not need to put on the internet to show your, your heavenly body, right? It is yours. My body is mine, your body is yours, your body, you think pretty. I agree you are pretty, but you do not need to, to invade my side with your body, right? I have my, I have my right of what is put into my side. Yeah. Anyway, it's a little bit further away from this. Yeah. Okay. So it appears ten times prettier when he looked in through the spring. Oh, this is again the shade. I do not like this shade. It's just exactly here. I am sorry. Let's try it again. Okay. Narcissus came upon, upon the spring one afternoon. Hunting all day have left, had left him tired and thirsty. He kneeled beside the spring to drink. What was this? He saw a face in the water. It was his own face, but Narcissus did not realize that. It seemed so lovely, so full of life. Narcissus fell in love with his own reflection. Beautiful person, speak to me, tell me your name. The image on the water moved its lip, but it did not speak. Narcissus tried to kiss it. The image disappeared the moment his lips touched the spring. Narcissus sighed. Although you will not allow me to touch you, Narcissus touch the water. So this is Narcissus and this is uh, the reflection of his face. So you can see his face is ten times better than this. It's kind of difficult to see, to see because it's all subjective. Okay. <clears throat> Although you will not allow me to touch you, you cannot stop me from looking at you. Narcissus sat by the spring day after day, staring at his own beautiful re reflection. He did not eat, he did not sleep, he grew weaker and paler. His body wasted away. He felt himself dying, but he could not tear himself away from the spring. Alas, he cried to his reflection, if only you could see how much I love you. <laughs> Is this the origin of how I love myself? Okay. 
saying that he died. Echo repeated his last words over and over again. How much I love you! How much I love you! I love you! I love you! I love you! The nymphs gathered. To bury Narcissus, they could not find him. On the spot where he lay, they saw a flower growing, a beautiful flower, like a golden trumpet, surrounded by yellow petals. The Greeks called this flower the Narcissus. After the poor young man who fell in love with himself, we see it in gardens every spring. Spring, we call it daffodil, daffodil or narcissus. I think in a lot of names you still see narcissus. Oh, what a, a beautiful story, narcissus. Okay, hello, dear friends. I will take this opportunity to introduce you my Etsy shop, and、uh, here are the products I sell on Etsy: art supply, lemon curls, original painting, brushes, and、uh, ceramics, and、uh, cooking, and <laughs> tea, and all these things. If you want to help me to support, I really appreciate. Thank you.